What's up guys, some great news. The first iOS 11 software update after the initial release. Today, iOS 11.0.1 was released to everybody. So you guys can go ahead and update right now. But before you do, just a moment to talk about what's changed and what's inside. So I just wanted to preface this by saying iOS 11 has been a horrible mess for me. It has halved my battery life. I mean, it just went completely to crap. The battery life, the bugginess, my AirPods stopped working intermittently for no apparent reason, no good reason there. It's just laggy. It has been terrible. And I don't know why. When it, first installing it, it was all right. It kind of developed and morphed into this terrible bug machine. So the first thing you'll see is in settings, this update here over the air. It was 286 megabytes for my iPhone 8 Plus, which is a concern considerable amount, so you would think that there would be something inside. Actually, going through it, I could not notice any submenu, any change there. I even looked through the actual change log, the security contents, and there was nothing. So whatever changes Apple have made, they have made them private, they've made them secret. Now, just flicking through it to see if I noticed a change in responsiveness, I can't really say that I have. Uh, the iPhone 8 Plus is a little bit better than my iPhone 7 Plus, but still pretty awful here. So I would definitely recommend you do update. There may be under the cover changes to the battery life and battery life here is very important. So Apple may have returned it somewhat to similar state of iPhone 7 or on iOS 11, I mean. Otherwise inside, I couldn't really find anything. You do get a new build number and uh, yeah, that's just about it. So I'll do some benchmarks with you to see, but today I'm gonna be posting a camera test video with some surprising results on the iPhone 8 Plus. I was a little disappointed uh, to find that. Anyways, let me jump in here, see if we can find a Geekbench. So I have an existing one on iOS 11 and let's just do one real quick on this. Don't really expect much of a difference, but again, this is probably mostly bug fixes, stuff that you can't see. Connection to AirPods for me has been terrible. So they might've fixed that in there as well. And some beastly scores here. I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot more variation between future versions of iOS 11 on the 8 Plus just because there is so much to vary. Those numbers are insane. Now, in comparison to the history here, look at that. That is the last one on iOS 11. So definitely pulling more power out of this guy in this multi-core score. So very interesting, more power there. Also, one little thing I wanted to see is, is the crash fix? Could that be why Apple released this update? Not crash, but the freeze down using the mobile profile. I'm gonna go ahead and load that up. All right, so we've got the crash profile. We're gonna go ahead and install it. It was a bit scary just how much this affected the uh, phone on iOS 11. So could have Apple maybe seen the video. Now, also, I'd like to note that, remember the multitasking 3D touch gesture, uh, Tim Cook, I believe, or Craig Federici actually responded in an email and said that it would be coming back in a future version of iOS 11, which is seriously awesome. They only temporarily removed it because of issues with the iPhone 10. So if you were uh, holding back on installing iOS 11 because of that, it will be coming back. And this is taking a little while. Maybe Apple actually fixes because it doesn't even try to install anymore. Huh. So I definitely think that Apple made some changes that you cannot install this from Safari anymore. It does recognize that it may be a malicious profile of some sort and it will not. I tried it many, many times. But airdropping it to the computer still does work. So let's see if that affects it also. I'll go ahead and install this. And let's see. Oh, so it does install still. And yeah, it still works. So just, I believe Apple has made the change that installing it from Safari will no longer work, but if you do manage to install it from any other source, it does still freeze your phone. All right, guys, there it is, iOS 11.0.1, iOS 11's first software update, and I definitely think you guys should install this one. iOS 11 has been such a mess, it can't possibly get worse with a future update like this. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for any more updates, and I'll have more videos here on the iPhone 8 Plus soon. Peace.